Well, I've done a fair amount of trans... It's just stuff... Just Oh, I should have brought up... I remember this got suggested in the last stream to bring up a faster antenna. The only... The fastest antenna on this thing is somewhere. It is the... I completely lost it. There it is. That's my fastest antenna, the DTS-M1. I should have brought up a faster one so we can get rid of this stuff more quickly. And I neglected to do that. But what I want to do is collect some of this science and just bring it down to the surface. So, uh, let's see here. Let's transfer over. Let's turn off the pressure control in this capsule. We'll send over a scientist. Pressure control off. And we're going to EVA. I think Philippe should be in there. Oh, how did Philippe... Oh, no, that's right. Oh, my gosh. I'm, got... I'm getting all my Kerbals mixed up. Who's down here, then? John and Dan are down there. Getting Kerbals mixed up. There's Dan. EVA Dan. Make sure Dan has monopropellant. Okay. And we're going to go over here. Oh, actually, I don't think. Oh, good point. Where is the science all stored? Oh, I think a lot. I think it's stored all over the place. Shoot, I didn't think about this. Why am I even doing this? You can transfer stuff without. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, where is the science? Look, let's transfer data here. She doesn't have anything. Let's go to this one. Transfer data here. I think I just wanted to do an EVA. Okay, she doesn't have anything. Where are our science samples? Board. Okay. Where are all these science samples? They are on there. Can I transfer just some stuff? Oh no, some of it's in the lander. Oh no, that's, okay, that's data. Sorry, there we go. We have green stone here. That's a good spot for it. No, okay. I think I'm just gonna go, I think, th sorry, I know I'm getting, I'm really confusing myself here. The important one is the green stone, get it back to Mimis's or Kerbin surface because I have a contract for it and I can see the green stones in here. So you know what? I'm just going to take it. I think we're good. Oh, and the asteroid sample. The asteroid sample's in there too. Good. So let's just go. Let's just leave. Undock. I'm making my life way more complicated than it needs to be. Going home. Let's go home. TR. Back away. can transfer this stuff. We picked up some data too. But that's okay. We can transmit that away. All right. We're good. <laughs> I was going to use a scientist to transfer all the science stuff around and then realized they didn't need to. Oh, I should have grabbed some parachutes too. Okay. Dan, you're going to grab. Oh, no. That doesn't work. <sighs> okay. Sorry. I need parachutes. I am making my life way too hard. Set as a target. Sorry, I just looked aboard here and only Jebediah had the foresight to bring a parachute with him. It is so easy to mess up the gear. Turn on pressure control again. Okay. All right, let's let's try this all again. <laughs> check supplies. Uh, I just saw that, John. I did check supplies just there, so I think we're good for supply. Okay, let's do this right. So. We need some parachutes, so just in case things go badly, it would be really, really a dumb reason for a Kerbal to die to not have parachutes aboard. So there's, oh, look at all the spare ones we got here. One, 
two parachutes. Okay, and in our four cabin, Steven needs a parachute. We got a spare one there. I took the parachutes off so they didn't have the weight of them when they went down to Mimis' surface and then I forgot temporarily to give them back. Now they got parachutes. Back away. Try this again. They have parachutes, they have plenty of supplies. These guys also have a water recycler board which should be on. It is, so water's not an issue. They got 40 days of food, 61 days of oxygen. Um, they also have 1,321 meters per second of delta V left. That's not a problem. So they should be able to get themselves back to Kerbin. So let's start thinking about... I got still the station set as a target here. Can I unselect that? Nope. Okay, there we go. So let's start thinking about getting ourselves back to Kerbin. Again, the best time to leave would be when this orbit is the plane of the orbit that you're in when you're in a polar orbit like this is parallel to Mimis's orbit about Kerbin. And this is again about as bad as it's going to get. Uh, I just, I'm not in the mood to wait. So let's think which... <laughs> Oh, why did I put this in a polar orbit? Oh yeah, so I can land in any biome I wanted to. That's why. I think probably the best place to do the burn would be about here. Let's try. Let's see. How long do I have to wait here to get my ideal window? Or should I just say screw it and go? That's what I'm thinking about. Okay, it's like what? Like 180 to get back to Kerbin? Something like that. I'm clearly not burning in the right spot because we are ejecting ourselves. Okay, let's start playing with the timing of this because this is clearly in the wrong spot. Yeah, we're just blowing ourselves out. <laughs> That's not good. That's not what we want. I could do just a normal or a radial burn, like kind of just burn this direction anyway. But I'm thinking, let's just see what happens if I start just popping ahead orbits here. Does this, yeah, it gets better as I do this. Maybe I don't have to wait too long. There we go. Okay, it's getting better as I do that. And we're five days, six days. Honestly, it's probably best to just stay on the station, isn't it? Giving myself saying let's go back to the station because I think that's probably gonna be the best plan. But I don't want to. Okay, let's let's do this again. We're gonna try it the different way. So if I stick around for about eight days, these orbits will be in the right spot, but let's try something a little different, a little bit more dumber. What happens? Because in order to leave, I gotta go burning off in this direction. So what if I just took this normal vector and just kind of did that? <laughs> it's this left like really soon. A little bit more. Yeah, like this. See how that gets you more or less going in the right direction? Is this going to be... This This will be more expensive, but it might be lazier. And I might be just in a lazy kind of mood. I'm in a lazy mood.
I think I'm gonna do it this way. It's only 280 meters per second or thereabouts. Now what I'd like to do is dock with my little space plane down here. So I kind of would like to come in in that plane. See how it goes. Uh, let's play around. I'm gonna do this. There we go. So let's see, timing wise, no, that makes it worse. This is the brute force way of doing this. Adjust the plane here a little bit by just adjusting the timing. And then uh, I want to do some arrow breaking because I'm already doing this in a very inefficient way. I might as well try and pretend. We'll put this at about 45 kilometers. So we'll use the air to kind of slow us down here. There we go. So that will get us in pretty darn close to the same plane as our little space plane that we left in orbit about Kerbin. And the burn is coming up in only about 49 minutes. And we are burning in a very unorthodox direction, but it's only costing us 274 meters per second. I don't care. This is getting away with the whole, uh, getting away with the fact that Mimis has a very uh, low gravity or very shallow gravitational well force of gravity gravitational fields not very strong around Mimis I'm sort of taking advantage of that am I doing this oh I probably don't have reaction wheels turned on I'd do it toggle on the torque there we go I'm asking by abode YT should can I make a KOS tutorial Honestly, uh, there is a YouTuber named Cheers Kevin, and his KOS tutorials are just excellent. I honestly don't think I could do it. I know I couldn't do as good a job as he does. Um, coding is not really my area of expertise. I can definitely be described much more as a enthusiast, maybe even a hobbyist would be too strong a word. Um, I know much less about coding than I do about physics and math. So, but I de definitely check out Cheers Kevin if you're looking for some tutorials. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's, uh, 48 minutes to the burn. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Here, keep that handy. There we go. There we go. Yep. Let's get to it. Uh, Vatsal says, what is KOS? KOS is Kerbal Operating System, which is the scripting language that I am using to do things like running this maneuver executor and stuff. You can write your own programs and uh, execute them within the game, which is a heck of a lot of fun if you, and if, if I was about to say, if you know programming or if it's a fun way to learn programming as well, I would say, okay, run, um, our computer script so this is what this is the terminal for KOS no active engines that would be a bad thing okay let's activate that engine and I got all kinds of errors going on that's because I write crappy software let's try that again there it goes <laughs> uh, one thing I do want to make sure of is where's the station that's not the station there's the station so we're pointing in the non non threatening the station direction you see this burn is mostly normal almost entirely maybe it is entirely I don't know 
So an unorthodox way to leave Mimis. But that's a good way for us to finish off, I think. With an unorthodox Minmis exit. And how much science do these folks have aboard? That is an excellent question. They're transmitting some. And there's still some left on the station. Okay, this is all trivial, what's being here. Yeah. But they got 105 science with the green stone, 55 science from a surface sample, 15 science from a mystery goo from somewhere. Gosh, where's that mystery goo from? I've had that forever, from the sun space high. Oh my gosh. Some of this stuff, some of this science has taken a pretty roundabout journey <laughs> to getting where it is right now. 45 science from space high about the sun, and then 62 science from an asteroid that was in low orbit about the moon that we sampled. <laughs> science from everywhere. All right. We are on our way out of here. How is this? Oh. Always remember when you're leaving Minmus or the Moon, wanting to get back to Kerbin, you always want to eject yourself. You know, Minmus is coming around in this direction, so that's the direction you need to eject yourself. And here I'm doing it in a not quite so efficient way, but in a time efficient way. Not a fuel efficient way, but a time efficient way. And I think it's going to work out all right. So got it from here. Woo! Okay, burn is complete. Get rid of that. That is uh, 44 kilometers. I think that's pretty good. The more important thing is that I am coming in. I set now the plane as a target. Our our intersection with this plane's orbit is we're very close to being in the plane of the plane's orbit. <laughs> but in the meantime, we are on our way out. There we go. We are on our way leaving Mimis. We're leaving Mimis Station. Uh, we will. Uh, have to obviously we'll be doing some aero braking. We'll be re-rendezvousing with our little space plane We'll be getting these folks back down plus The science that we've collected this time. I will try to remember to take the science into the plane with me 